Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully created the configuration file for the Karma and we have executed the command also. But there is one drawback here. What is the drawback? Let's try to see. So if I try to run npm test, okay. If I try to run this npm test, what is happening? The Karma has been started. It is telling that the Karma server started in this URL. Now the Karma is asking us, asking us to open this URL in the browser so that when this browser is connected for this one, it will execute. So it will execute, it will start executing the test. Now let's try to open this one here. So I am trying to open. Now it has started and it has connected. Now if you try to see in this command prompt, now here it is when we open the browser, it has connected with the socket and it has tried executing all the tests in the browser. So now it has executed the two of that success and the karma got disconnected. So now here if you try to see that means we we need to open this one in the Chrome browser any browser we need to open this URL in the browser so that at that time this browser it will be connected to the karma and the test got executed. But when we are using this CA, CA plan so that means continuous integration plan so there will be no browser so we cannot use this manually. When you are uh, when you are running the series of commands in the C continuous integration plan, when you are deploying here, when you are building the code, the browser will not be existed, or also there will be no manual intervention. So automatically, we need to allow the Karma to open the Chrome browser, and it automatically open this URL, and it should automatically execute the test. So if this happens, it will be best for us in the continuous integration plan. So it will be automatically executed. So now, fortunately, we have the type of scenario also. Now we need we need to tell to the Karma that you need to open the Chrome browser and we need to execute it. So for that one, we have a plugin available that is nothing but Karma-Chrome-Launcher. So let's try to install this one. npm install Karma-Chrome-Launcher. Okay. Hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. So you know if you try to see, so it will try to install this one karma iphone chrome iphone launcher. So let it execute. So it will take some time to execute. So after installation of this one, what this plugin will do is, so it will at karma this plugin we need to add it in the configuration file so that when we when the server asks to open this one automatically the karma opens this one in the chrome browser in the chrome browser and it will execute the series of tests and it will automatically close this chrome browser so this 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 one will be automatically set up using this karma iphone chrome iphone launcher plugin if you try to open this one chrome karma iphone chrome iphone launcher if you try to search here karma chrome launcher let's try to search like this now here first one is the karma iphone chrome iphone launcher so here this is the npm so let's try to open that one yeah, here if you try to open, here it is asking that, so it is telling that we need to install karma iphone chrome iphone launcher, iphone d means, so iphone iphone save iphone dev, that is a short form, dev dependency, and here headless chrome with puppeteer, so we will we'll learn about this headless chrome with puppeteer also, why we need to use this puppeteer, so now like this we need to add it, and here we need to give browsers chrome headless, so here we need to give the chrome headless, what is this chrome headless also, we will try to learn it now. Now, if I try to see here, so what happened? This one has to execute it, right? Okay, got struck. So let it install. Now the Chrome iPhone launcher has been executed. Now we need to add this one automatically. Now where we need to add is so here you need to add Karma hyphen Chrome hyphen launcher. This is the plugin. So we have added in the plugins. And now we need to tell the browser. So what is the browser? It will be executing. So we have installed this Karma iPhone Chrome iPhone launcher. For Firefox also, you will be having Karma iPhone Firefox iPhone launcher like that. So now browsers, we need to have the browsers. So list of browsers that are supported is here you will be able to see. So here the Chrome directory. So here these are the browsers. Now first one is the Chrome. So let's try to take this the Chrome. Now here we will take the array and it will type like this. Okay, that's it. Now we have integrated the Karma uh, configuration. Now let's try to run this command again. NPM test. So if you try to run this command. Now what will happen? Let's try to see. So Karma has been started. Now it now this one will automatically open the a Chrome browser will be opened automatically. It will open the URL in that one and it will close it. So that will happen automatically. Let's try to see it. See starting browser Chrome. So browser Chrome has started and it is closed. All the tests has been passed. 
so nothing i have did it so automatically this one karma has taken care of everything so why how this one has taken care is so karma, uh, chrome is installed in my system so because of that reason it has automatically opened the chrome and it has run this url and it has installed it but whereas in another situations what will happen is the chrome will not be installed whereas in your continuous integration when you are running the build plan so chrome will not be installed in your system so now for example if you try to see here this is the chrome headless chrome headless means nothing but the chrome which does not have an user interface so this this is a chrome so if you try to see this is a chrome browser but this has an user interface whereas this chrome headless does not have the chrome interface so for example let's try to see chromium chromium is one of the software so let's try to use this chromium here okay so now chromium if i try to use chromium is not installed in my windows so now if i try to see npm test see now it will tell you that chromium is not there in your system why because see cannot start chromium chromium is not installed in my system now this type of scenarios will come whenever you run in, a, in the system which doesn't have a chrome or chrome headless or something like that the chrome headless is nothing but which doesn't have a user interface so in order to overcome this type of situation so what we need what normally we will be using is we need to install the chrome headless browser inside this one before running this chrome headless chrome thing before running this browser we need to install the browser itself in our uh, continuous integration it will be very useful so that is nothing but so previously we will be using phantom.js so in the older time so some people will be using phantom.js phantom.js is nothing but scriptable headless browser so this will install the headless browser in our system in our package in our application but this phantom.js development is suspended uh, actually this one is not in the development so this one has been stopped because of this reason what we will be using is we will be using the puppeteer Puppeteer is being developed by the Google, so this Puppeteer will install the Google, uh, which will install the Chrome headless in our application. So this will automatically install the Chromium for all the platforms, and everything you need to run it from it with your CI. CI means Continuous Integration Plan. So now let's try to install this Puppeteer. If it, if you want to install this Puppeteer, what you can do is npm install Puppeteer. Okay. So now install this one as a Dev Integration. Okay, when you install this puppeteer, it will try to it will it will it will also install the Chrome browser also in in your application. So now in the node modules, the Chrome browser also will be available. So in your continuous integration plan, when you are running, so automatically this puppeteer will be there. So it will it will give you the whole Chrome headless browser. So now what I can do here here I can change it to Chrome headless. Why? Because I don't want the browser to be opened and closed. So Chrome headless browser automatically it has to execute it. Now if you try to see. So let's try to execute it. Let, it will take some time. Let it take some time. So now Puppeteer has been installed. So commonly we will be, we are having so many headless uh, headless browsers we are having in our in our market. So if you want, you can also install other things. But Puppeteer is the most commonly thing. So it was developed by the Google team. So for that reason, we will be using this Puppeteer. Now I have changed this one to Chrome headless, right? So I have changed this one to Chrome headless. Let's try to run it. Now let's try to clear it out. And here, oh sorry. And here, right now, so here, right now, what I will try to do is, I will try to run npm test. So let's try to run it again. So now it has, now it is starting Chrome headless, and it has started, and it has executing. So the the test it is trying to execute it. Let it execute. See, it has been successfully executed. So Chrome headless has been executed. That your that success done. So this is how we will be using this. Using a headless Chrome browser. So why this one is useful is so there is no need for us manually to open this browser, to to open this URL in the browser so that it will try to open the connection and try to execute the test. So automatically Karma will take care of opening this URL and it will try to execute all the tests automatically. So hope you understood about this Karma Chrome launcher. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.